But as you'll see, the day I've had to change a bit of my hut, I've had to raise the rest, folks. He's get these after three hours because look what I come into. Now, I keep my hut clean. I'm scraping it twice a day. But as my dad says to me, it doesn't matter, you've got young ones, they smell them. So I've found the environmental health. They've come out and put a vote so so you have to try and catch them, but that's some size of hole. So as I've done the new is put bricks. Oh god. So right, right along the new to I can get wire and I'm gonna have to sheet all my flare with that wire. The birds are all safe. The birds are all counted for. Get one out there back in. Um, I've got another white unit you know, actually I've just come in. There you go, hen, one in. Get one more white in. As soon as it comes down. Get one more white in. But everybody else is, I've no lost any birds. Everybody's accounted for, so I've got these all up high. Underneath here. I've did the same with the bricks right along. Um, I've checked right along here is all clear. So I've not been at this bit. I've not been right along there. All this is all fine. All in there to I need to brush in there actually. I need to put this. Um, so that's what's happened to do, girl. Too busy keeping my eyes off for the hawk all the time, trying to outsmart him, getting my birds out at different times to fly. Me Carla. Blaze the mum. Shadow. Eagle. The jill. And then there again is Storm. One and again. I don't know if she's cleaning that box first. I've noticed her and him been together. That was Ego, sorry. That's Storm and Autumn's wee chick. It's another two after the red tip and the black tip. I don't think I've showed you too much of them actually. Leave them out. They're coming on. What brilliant. Look at them. Look at the markings in that wee. And absolutely lovely. I know I say it with every bird, but these know what it's like. He's know what it's like. And there are two wee brothers. And you get, and you get. There you go. I should have Jenny's own hers. So if he's doing grand, this wee rat problem <clears throat> is a problem. I don't think the thing is so wee. Baby, we may go outside. But I'm on it, the new. But as you can see, there's, I don't know if he'll pick it up in the camera. Right, see here where I've put the heat of the brush? That's like a tunnel, right, where it's going under. There's one there. There's the glass. There's another one here. You see the groove? Um, there's a rat box I've got with poison. That's another run there. Goes under and there's one. Just, I know it's a bit of plastic, but what of course I've got the new. There's another in there. You can see where it's bodies. So I don't know if it's more than one. But I'm trying my best. I get straight on to the environmental health. They tell me there's nothing you can do because you stay next to the fields. They're going to smell it. So that's my two problems. Um, then I couldn't get my original bag of feet today. So I had to get this in, just bear with me, take it out. Should be bad first. Don't know if anybody's ever used this one. It's called Bucktons Pigeon Foods. And it's got. Oh, still fuzzy. 
it's got ruby maize, maple peas, red dairy, flint maize, white dairy, taris, blue peas, white peas, sapphire seeds. In this bucket um, is also like halfway done. I was trying to get it all up, but that's it there. But halfway done is my original mix. I should have mixed it all through, but I never managed to. So I'll wait and see how they like this. Um, and hopefully they'll have my original stuff in. Hopefully this will hold that rat at bay, the new. It's definitely been busy again last night. It's come back again last night. But the birds are after flare of the night. Once they've all been in and they've all had a feed, taking the food out, all this will all be locked up and secure. And fingers crossed. Feeling that, I'll be getting my cellar Jack Russell and keeping it outside. <laughs> but fingers crossed, everybody. Thanks for watching. It's never ending in the pigeon life. But I hope. I hope it's stupid enough to get into that box and eat that bait. And I'm in big bother. Any advice is welcome, guys. Please help me. Cheers.